Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a first look at the new upcoming tier 9 German medium tank. We're not quite sure if it's premium or reward yet. The Erich Concept 1. This tank is looking pretty interesting and I'm sure some of you this name might be familiar. You might have heard of it before. Well, that's because this tank was released earlier this month in September 2024 on World of Tanks Blitz. And this tank already exists on Lester Murtankov, the Russian um, branch of World of Tanks, now as a tier 10 German medium tank. However, this is for EU, and this tank has just come to the super test on EU, and this is a first look at this tank's statistics. We're going to see what it's looking like. So, in terms of firepower, it's going to have 400 alpha. That's pretty nice. It's kind of a little bit above average of the 390s we kind of see on uh, uh, the medium tanks, especially German medium tanks. So 400 alpha is looking pretty nice. We definitely cannot complain with that. Uh, penetration wise 270 standard 320 gold so that's 270 standard apcr and 320 gold that's pretty nice uh 320 heat is going to be pretty nice that's going to be able to pen reliably most tier 9 heavies especially the flat armor uh shell velocity is actually going to have pretty nice heat shell velocity uh which is always i feel pretty nice especially on tds and medium tanks sometimes they can uh, be almost nerfed in the sense that they have like 900 uh, meters a second heat shell velocity which feels really really bad for sniping and this tank's gun handling is definitely set up for this tank to be played as a kind of leo 1-esque it's gonna kind of be a tier 9 leo 1 as we're kind of seeing so far uh 2.2 seconds own time that's really quite snappy and 0.3 dispersion that is once again pretty snappy that's going to be pretty good at range so this tank is going to feel pretty comfy sniping at mid to long range also a nice feature is it's going to have 10 degrees of gun depression and we'll have a look in a second at the tank model on tanks.gg for Murtankov and we'll kind of be able to see how the gun depression operates and what that actually does to the tank's armor it's going to carry not that many shells. I feel like 40 pieces of ammunition for a medium tank is kind of low. So that may be a limiting factor, but we're yet to see. Um, speed, 65 forwards. That's going to be pretty snappy. It's going to feel pretty quick for a medium tank. It's not going to be the quickest, but it's going to be up there. It's going to be towards the good end of speed for medium tanks. It has a decent power to weight ratio and decent, most likely, um soft statistics so terrain resistances are likely going to be pretty good because that specific power to weight ratio is pretty good so it's going to be maintaining that speed uphill and it's going to be maintaining that speed over most terrains which is always pretty nice for a medium and it's actually going to have a decent amount of hit points 1650 for a tier 9 medium is pretty all right uh, which means you might actually be able to trade semi-effectively especially if you're running a bond hardening you're pulling that to hp up to towards 1800 which is going to be pretty snappy you are going to be able to trade semi-effectively however its armor on paper is not looking particularly incredible turret 70 and it's hull 50 so this is going to be a glass cannon armor likely going to be very very similar to the leopard one or you know the leopard pta which is a tier nine uh, of that tech tree um however it's going to have 400 meters view range which i find is always pretty nice and always a nice thing to see on the super test it's going to have the generic german medium tank crew so your leo one crew will work in this tank especially if this is a reward slash premium tank so Let's have a look at the tank on Tanks of GG. This is not the EU version, not the EU version. This is the RU version, which is a tier 10. However, we can kind of get an idea of what the tank looks like because it's looking identical based off the picture from the Supertest file and what Murtankov have in the game. 
So it's going to have a very similar hull to the KPZ, which is that tier 8 German medium tank with that great HE pen. Its hull looks very similar to that, very flat at the back, kind of an angled front with these kind of like um, grip resistance pads, I guess, and a pretty chunky, flat, thick lower plate with very flat, flat, flat sides uh, with very weak armor. And its turret is also kind of resembling the KPZ pretty... Uh, wide pretty you know rounded but flat kind of at the front so let's have a look at that gun depression however something to note the ru version has 12 degrees of gun depression so let's kind of bring this in let's give me a second to quickly get this in okay so that is basically this tank's gun depression on eu with that 10 degrees and you can kind of see when we put this to live yeah this tank doesn't have any armor it's not going to get any better however it's going to have an interesting ricochet angle on the upper hull but it's likely if it ricochets off that upper hull it's going to pen you in the turret so it's going to kind of ricochet then pen so yeah not the best um this tank will likely be a he magnet you know having only a lower plate of 100 especially its sides and it's pretty chunky pretty fat sides of you know 60 sided turret being 30 in places and especially its rear turret and rear which is just huge being 30 millimeters basically yeah this thing's gonna catch some he shells so do bear that in mind don't be expecting to bounce everything in this tank but notably we're gonna be having decent shell damage which is going to be pretty nice 400 is always i feel a pretty nice number uh speed wise 65 is also pretty nice you're going to be pretty quick it has a decent hp pool and it's going to have heat ammunition as its gold which i feel is always pretty nice oh and 10 degrees of gun depression is always pretty good in my opinion especially medium tanks it just feels comfy and you can work some really nice ridge lines However, do bear in mind, all of these statistics are going to be subject to change because this is purely a first look. We don't even have this tank on tanks.gg yet for EU, so we can't have a proper look at that tank, uh, the tank soft statistics. It's actual EU armor model. We only have the super test release uh, folder here and the file, but I feel we can get a pretty good idea of this tank and what its capabilities are going to be because it is on the RU version. However, it is obviously tier 10 on RU and it's looking like this is going to be tier 9 on EU. However, this tank statistics are pretty... It's looking pretty stereotypical of the kind of tanks we see released as part of the Battle Pass free tanks. Uh, for example, the Char Future 4, you know, those kind of tanks. So it's likely we may not see this tank until 2025 and most likely not until kind of the May, uh, you know, the late spring once people have gained enough battle pass tokens, battle pass points to be able to pick this tank up, which will, if it is going to be available through the battle pass, will probably be 28 tokens, we'd say. Um, but this tank is looking pretty stereotypical of the kind of battle pass tanks we get. Um unique statistics in some angles but not going to be particularly any better any worse than the tier 9 tech tree counterparts of the tank so for example a good example of this is you can pick up the a tier 9 bz chinese heavy tank which is pretty much identical to the tier 9 tech tree version so this tank is most likely, I feel, going to be seen through the Battle Pass. Uh, but do let me know down in the comments when you think we might see this tank. Do you like this tank? Have you played this tank on RU? Have you played against this tank on RU? Or do you play World of Tanks Blitz and you're here for that? And what is it like on World of Tanks Blitz? You'll have to let me know. Uh, but if you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.